Okay, so in this, um, we're going to go through question five from exam two from the 2018 NHT um, exam. So let's have a look here. It says a scatter, it's got a scatter plot showing weight um, in grams and head length in millimeters of 110 birds. Okay, so let's go up. So the equation of the least squares is fitted is, is as below. Remember, this is y equals um, a plus b x so keep that in mind if you're trying to make that that link okay because they've given, been given it in variables we're going to be talking you know when you put in your calculator you need to make sure you're using the right things there so the first part is draw um this least squares line on the scatter plot above so what we need to do is we need to pick two of the head lengths to two of the x values so i would just pick personally i'd pick 52 and 60 so x equals 52 x equals 60 and then I would sub that like first one sub that into here and I would get a value of um, 65.6 so what I'm going to do is going to go 52 here and then I'm going to go up to 65.6 okay so that's going to be as I said 52 oops um, 52.65 Okay, and then I will put x equals 60 into this equation, okay, and that will give me 79.5. So in this case, I'm going to go 60 and I'm going to go up to 79.5, so about there, okay, 60, oops, 60 and 79.5. If you ask me why 52 and why 60, just easy enough to graph. I can, I can, you could pick 54 and 58 if you want. It doesn't matter. Then you're going to get your ruler, and because I'm doing this on the computer, it probably won't be as neat as it could. And you just draw a line through it. That's what you're doing. You just have a ruler, join the two dots basically, and that's all you need to do for that one. So B, B's asking use the weight, use the equation to predict the, the weight in grams of a bird with a head length of 49 millimeters, and all you need to do for this one here is go weight equals minus 24.83 plus 1.739 times 49.0 and that would give you a value of 60.4 grams okay now um, so therefore, so when we look at here, it says, is prediction made in part B an example of interpolation or extrapolation? Remember, if the data is, um, if your data, you know, your point, your prediction is within where your data can be found, so within this area here, then it's interpolation. If it's... Um, Outside of that, it's called extrapolation. So now we're saying that would be that the um, looked at here the head length. So down here is 49. Our first data points after is after 50. So in this case, we're making a prediction out here somewhere. Okay, and because it's out there, it's going to be extrapolation. So it's extrap relation and why um, you could say you probably want to write it better than I'm going to write it here because 49 is below the lowest um, value of the data so it's taking a bit of time to write okay because 49 is, is um, below that value. All right, so let's go on to part D. So in D, it says when the least squares line is used to predict the weight of a bird with a head length of 59.2 millimeters, the residual value is 2.78, okay? So what we're gonna have here is, um, residual so we need the residual 
equation. So it's going to be um, y r. Um, so that's the, re the real one. And y p, so they predicted. Okay. And we've been told what the residual value is. So it's 2.78 equals y r. But what we haven't yet got is basically what our my predicted value is. But we can get that. And how do we get that? We use this bit of information. And we use it by going weight. So that's, that's basically our y value. So again, that's our yp, so to speak. Okay, weight predicted is minus 24.83 plus 1.7. 39 times 59.2 so the 59.2 is coming from there and this whole thing I'm just going to highlight it comes from the start of the question so that becomes from from the start of the question from the previous say from the previous page okay just so if you wanted to make that whole equation so it's equation from the previous page. All right. You calculate that and you get a value of that equals 78.1188. Okay. And I think I, when I was writing this, I should have moved that differently. Sorry about that. So it's 2.78 equals YR minus 78.1188. 1188 and you just use your you know you become 78.18 you're going to move it across and you're going to basically add 2.78 to 78.1188 so so therefore actual weight equals 80 point eight nine eight eight and key point here one decimal place so the answer in this case is going to be 80 oops not 8 80.9 grams okay next one Pearson's correlation coefficient r is equal to 0.5957 given this information what percentage of the variation in the weight of these birds is not explained by the variation in um, head length. This is a key point. A lot of the times, most of the questions you often see, it's what is the variation? It doesn't have not. It's asking you for R squared, and that's the value you, you use. In this case, it's asking you to work out R squared, and then tell me what the uh, what the difference to that is. All right. And by that I mean R squared times 100 gives you percentage. So if I did 0.59 five seven um and square it and then multiply it by 100 i'll get 35.5 percent that would be saying you know um what percent so it'd be saying 50 uh 35.5 percent of the variation in the weight of these birds can be explained by the variation in head length that's a that's often a been a more um typical type of question this is asking the opposite to that so therefore your answer is um, when it says not, the not part is equal to 100 minus 35.5, and that means the answer is going to be 64.5% because it's asking for that bit. It's not explained. Okay, that's how you have to do. You have to be careful about what how you read, what what's in questions, and what you're reading from. All right. Um, the residual plot is obtained when the least squared line is fitted to data shown below. What does the residual plot indicate about the association between the head length and the weight? So the points in this case, um, so the points are random. Points are random. There's no pattern to them. So therefore this, oops, this suggests that the original little linear, oops, linear model 
is probably appropriate. Okay, so if that showed a pattern, you would say it's nonlinear, but it's, there's this random here, so we're going to say it's most likely going to, going to be a linear graph, a linear model. Okay.